So obviously my story brought me to a college campus today and it got me thinking, man, I really wish I could go back in time and just kind of like relive that college experience. Nope, not me. Luckily so, we have yeah. Maddie. That's why we have Maddie the intern. <laughs> if you don't know about her yet, you're about to. We do this every single Friday. She's a senior. She's from Camden and she's got some senioritis. Take a look. The day three years ago you thought would never come, well, it's here, and it's the biggest wake-up call of them all. My name is Madison Rayner, and I'm currently an intern at New Center, Maine. I'm a Mainer who's pursuing a journalism and legal studies double major at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst. I'm a TA, RA, and a member of Greek life here at UMass. It's my senior year. And like many of you who are currently in the last year of college, there is a lot going through my mind. This is Senior Rita Stories. Ah, uh, syllabus week. The first week of school where everybody's just a little bit stressed to say the least. We got this. You got this. I got this. We got this. Yeah. Going to class, dropping that class, picking up two more classes. It goes on and on and on. Picture this. It's the first class of the semester. And immediately once you sit down, your professor hands you an acre of dead trees. Stapled together to seal your fate for the rest of the semester. Or does it? Every professor is different. Yeah, senior year. Instead of blindly following the syllabus, get to know your professor's teaching style. Do they actually use the textbook? Or can you save a couple hundred bucks by finding the PDF online? Is that 8 a.m. lecture really worth giving up your beauty sleep? Syllabus Week gives you the flexibility to pick and choose your schedule. You have the freedom to determine how your semester will go. As a senior, hopefully you've spent quality time with your advisor so you know which classes you have to take to graduate on time and which ones you don't. <laughs> my thoughts are with you if you have to take that 8 a.m. lecture. So here's my pro tips to surviving syllabus week, or really the first month of school. Don't completely disregard the syllabus, but keep in mind that professors do change course in the middle of the semester. Get a planner, write down everything. Keeping an up-to-date planner can help you organize your schedule and let you prioritize the things you actually wanna do. Lastly, don't sweat the small stuff. May isn't here yet. You still have time to figure it out. Whether you're a seasoned senior or a frazzled freshman in your first syllabus week ever, take your time, plan it out, stay on top of things, and you'll make it through. I'll see you next Friday at 5. Yeah! <laughs> I love it! That's great. So every Friday at 5, we'll check on Maddie as she navigates her way through her senior year of college, which has to be scary. I mean, adulthood, that mm -hmm. awful word, and also, is so like, right around the corner. It also helps bridge the gap, too, for you know parents like yourself sure. of college-age students and all these questions that you might to have, too. Maddie's kind of, yeah. She's our bridge. Yeah. She is. Between the old and the young. <laughs>